hey guys welcome and welcome back so i don't know if i made an intro for this video but anyway today is day two of the renovations or you know if we can call it that because i'm not rich and we have a bunch of things we're going to do today so i'm all ready to leave the house and i decided you know what let me catch up with you guys i wasn't gonna talk in this video but you just know me i love talking so here we are i'm gonna buy a carpet today a rug today for the living room area for the sitting room area um yes and i'm gonna shop around for some wall art to replace the ones that i have right now so the theme i did not tell you guys but the theme of the house that i'm going for is contemporary that's the style i'm going for and the theme is gonna be gold brown gray and beige or gold brown gray okay any of those colors or all of those colors depending on the house decor items that i get and what will place me so the carpet i'm going for should have a bit of gold speckles or something but it should be gray or beige you know i feel like that would match my style more i'm also gonna order for a coffee table a new coffee table and i want it to be marble with a hint of gold as well so i don't know if this is bringing the picture into your heads guys <laughs> it suddenly is in my head and the couch excuse me the couch that i'm going for is actually gray i love 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 this couch oh, that's luna trying to get in i really love this couch because i feel like it yeah the color where i am right now that is what pleases me the color the neutrality of it and the simplicity that it comes with just you know i love that and plus the couch is beautiful in my eyes <laughs> so the couch is gonna get delivered today as well so yeah so basically what we're getting today is the couch i, I decided to go for a five seater i currently have a six seater that is a three and a three but I'm, I'm going for a five seater that is um a two and a three seater couch yeah okay i feel like i'm just rambling right now because i don't know if i'm ever gonna post this video but i just feel like i'm posting oh did i tell you guys why i decided to do this i decided to do this because it's something that i love and also bay is coming over and i just always like to give the house a fresh look when he's over so that we feel like we are on holiday because he is on holiday and just enjoy the house right now let me go back let me go to the sitting room and show you guys what i intend to replace and what not so guys first off all of these couches are gone <laughs> they are going they've been paid for they just it's just the pickup they need to be picked i'm replacing this luna am i replacing you <laughs> I'm, re I'm replacing this rug I'm buying a new coffee table because I feel like that coffee table is um, a little too, too small for the space. I've had this since I was in a one bedroom house with only a two seater couch. It fit back then, it doesn't fit right now. So it's gonna go do something else. I'm not sure what, but I'm not selling that one. We've come from way too far for, for me to part ways with her right now. Uh, this couch is going, already paid for. The other thing is, my dining table is not so steady i don't like it honestly but the seats are still so new that I, I never even took out the covers so the seats are still very new but the dining table is not and i'm i'm conflicted um if i should just repair it or sell it all together um my carpenter who's coming to deliver my new seats will give me an insight on that and what i should do with it now for here, um, honestly, I, I feel like it still can hold, like I don't need to replace the TV stand, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it either. If I replace everything in the house and then it looks out of place, then I'll replace it. But if not, I'll just paint it again, give it a fresh look. Of course, I'm gonna get those things that you, you tuck in. Um, what are these, the cables? What, do they, what are they called? I don't know i've forgotten what they're called i feel like i know it but i don't know it anyway i'm gonna tuck those in so that place is neat and nice i don't like it looking like that i've just been giving myself grace to settle into my new space 
so for now that's all we intend to do um for the next one week hopefully i'll be able to do everything within a week and yeah because i know you'll be here shortly so i'll film whatever i can film when these are being picked up when the new furniture is being dropped in i'll try and do that you know move things around with you guys but i can't really promise that you know all this is gonna be done when i'm here because i'm not sure <laughs> but my sister is here to receive everything should i not be around anyway guys i'll see you guys when i get back or when there's another update to be given And what I was just showing in the previous clip is, you know, me uh, fixing things here and there and receiving some of the items. One of them is the three-seater right here. It's here, guys. It's here. I'm so happy. And I brought some items with me as well. I needed this. I know you saw the carpenter doing something with the pink couch. The pink couch. Actually, honestly, now I'm, re I'm rethinking <laughs> letting go of the pink couch <laughs> because it's yeah it's at level with okay let me show you guys so guys now i'm rethinking letting go of that couch because it looks like this couch you know and there's gonna be a two-seater like that so now i'm thinking did i really have to sell it you know uh, and then um i got it uh gold legs the person who wanted to buy it wanted some gold legs so i got it that exactly and wow i just i love this i love how this is coming on together it's like coming all together and this is everything i bought i have these decorative pieces in gold and i also have some frames over there i got this for my bedroom like i told you guys i can't stick to my budget really but i needed this so i'm happy i got it and also i got the carpet for once i got the one thing i went out for so i'm really happy this carpet is really pretty it has like blue and gray and brown and it's just gonna tie in with the entire look all together i don't want to put anything on the floor yet until the other piece the other missing couch is here then i can start putting everything together <music>
so the seats are here as you guys have seen in the fast forwarded video in the hyperlapse time lapse or hyperlapse and so is the table the table is also here uh unfortunately guys i didn't get to um unbox it with you guys but i did unbox it and let me tell you guys i am so in love with this because it ties in luna excuse me do you want to say something to everyone yeah i'm so in love guys like that look at that detail that gold detail gold coating i love 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 that's like you know the theme and i'm impressed uh yeah so that chair i already showed you that one and this is also here as well and yeah they haven't really come to pick that one but that's fine i want to clean up as much as i can so i can put the carpet so let me show you guys what the carpet looks like so guys before um i put it on the floor this is what the carpet looks like i was really going for like um what do you call it? a turkish carpet but i didn't get exactly the one i wanted with the gold speckles uh specks speckles i don't know but like with the gold details uh, i'll insert a picture probably right here of what i'm talking about but i feel like this would do just fine actually i did find one but it was smaller the size of the rug that i have right now that i um the, that i'm switching that i'm switching for this one yeah so i decided to go with this because it's bigger this is a six by ten or six by eight it's a six by eight and i think it's like really huge i love it love it love it it has like some blue detail this is blue and this just gives me a bigger what do you call it a bigger range of what i can put uh, the decors it doesn't have to all be white so yeah that's good and it's good also that i got uh this neutral color because i can work with that yeah and as you can see the the couch is gray guys look at the way it ties in with that with with those three paintings so i feel like i'm gonna leave those there unless i find like something that matches perfectly i think i'm gonna leave those there I've changed my mind <laughs> and as for this little table here that i had before it's gonna be my plant plant home so yeah i'll show you guys as we move on guys it's day three so this is where we are guys um the carpet fit perfectly did i show you guys the pattern on the carpet guys can you see that i love this and you know why because it's gonna match the curtains in my bedroom and i'm gonna switch them for these ones that are in the living room i really really love this turkish rug it looks really beautiful i love it love it love it 
I keep changing between um, rug and carpet, but you guys know what I mean. You can see it. And yes, that is how the sitting room generally looks like, the sitting area. And let me tell you guys, I love, love, love how this is coming out. Completely um, in love, smitten. Like these chairs are giving life, quality, everything in between. These chairs are so amazing. And of course, I'm gonna have to change <laughs> my throw blankets because now they blend into the chair and I need some contrast. I know you guys can still see that chair over there. Uh, that's gonna go today. Uh, yeah, it's getting picked today, so no worries there. And this is what I did with the other table that I had. So it's gonna be, well, my plant stand. And this corner, like I already told you guys, is going to be the plant wall. Okay, so today what I want to do is I'm going to mount these wall decor pieces and the frames that I got yesterday on that wall. And then I'm going to change the curtains. So I have those blue curtains. I have, okay, I have blue curtains, this exact uh, color and pattern in the bedroom so i'm gonna bring them over to this place and then take the green or green ones to the bedroom and honestly they match there than in the living room area i just don't know why i chose for them to be here but anyway we're gonna switch those because now it will fit and match and i think that's gonna be all for today guys since i've been like overwhelmed before if you're an og you know that there's some renovations i was doing in a different house and it really really took a toll on me so this time around i'm just taking it at a slow enjoyable pace i don't want to rush myself and feel overwhelmed and i just want to enjoy the process you know when you go slow and yeah you're just kind of enjoying the whole process i'm so excited we all are i've shown bay the whole process and he is amazed <laughs> so i really really can't wait to share with you guys this whole process tomorrow i'm getting light fixtures for the ceilings and also either tomorrow or today evening i'm gonna have like like i showed you guys that wall is the plant wall so i'm gonna get my fundi to come and do the di the floating shelves it can't be diy because someone else is doing it for me but yeah i'm gonna get the carpenter to come and take the measurements and then do me diy do me floating shelves because i really really want one and yeah it's all gonna come together soon i still don't know what to do let me put on my big girl pants and get a hammer and start hammering that wall over there so i can hang whatever needs to be hung
so today is um day day nine that's one week in two days so today's day nine since i started the whole house renovation thing guys excuse me if you can hear banging in the background it's just my neighbors they keep banging at things and i don't know what they are building but they've been doing it for a whole week and so annoying but i'm too respectful to go and confront them anyway <laughs> back to business so uh today's day night i started the whole living room renovation and i could not keep up with updating you guys daily because well there was just a lot going on apart from the house renovation i was getting ready for some other thing that's that you guys are gonna know about in the next uh videos in the next video or videos i'm not really sure but yeah i've been doing that on the side and as you can as you guys can see there's something different about my look i went and you know did hair extensions and all that but that is a story for another day so i could not keep up with updating you guys every single day but i did everything i wanted to do actually no i did not do everything i wanted to do i did every major thing i wanted to do and i got every major item that i wanted to buy but there's some few pieces missing here and there like i wanted a console table and a different and a round mirror i could not get that in time i also wanted uh, a few decor pieces in the house like the little what do you call that like i wanted um more pictures on the wall pictures of us i was not able to do that in time but i've made an order so some frames will come and yeah i'll be able to do that in the next coming videos but anyway without rambling on too much i just wanted to get this one over and done with and then whatever comes after will be updated in the coming upcoming videos so without wasting too much of your time uh let me flip the camera and then show you guys the final reveal of course you guys can see can already see but let me flip the camera and show you guys what the house looks like right now i am so excited i'm so proud of myself for getting here like you guys this was like such a big and risky idea risky because um i got rid of everything in the house basically and i didn't have the entire amount of money i needed to like buy everything all in one and of course if i was gonna sell stuff like i did sell some of my items i did not get the actual value for them i just wanted to get rid of them and get a little bit of money back so i didn't get their actual value and that's okay but like it was risky because i wasn't sure i was gonna be able to replace most of it but i did replace all of it actually and bought even more so thank god for that and thank my man for that <laughs> he's been so um what's the word he's been so generous Amon is such a generous man and i'm so lucky to have him uh, he made sure that i had everything i wanted to have and th for those things that i did not get it's not because of money it's just because of time and availability that i did not get them so i'm so 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 happy for that anyway let's get on with the video <laughs> Luna, are you a paid actor, actress, actor? <laughs> okay, guys, so when you come in through the door, this is the view that you see. That's Luna's corner. And so, well, it's Luna's corner. And above Luna's corner is the plant wall. So, guys, I wasn't really able to get much for the plants, for the plants because I realized that my supplier for plants wasn't giving me quality plants and i wasn't really happy with the plants that he has given me but i'll get back to that later so from luna's plant wall uh you go to the living room area the sitting room area that's my sister i retained those three uh what you call wall art as i said i was gonna do but i got that floating shelf on top of the one in the middle as you guys can see i plan on having a climber plant right right there right now i just have some books over there and some seashells that we collected with Eamon the last time we were at the coast and then right below it is my three-seater couch i really love this couch the gray color just complements like i was going for a contemporary theme for the house in i hope hopefully i got there but honestly whatever this is i love it so i love that couch it's in gray and i i opted for white and blue throw pillows because 
because the carpet is gray white blue and a bit of cream and brown as well and i love it and then on this other side is the love seat and on the love seat i have those two pillowcases so like i have a bunch of pillowcases that i bought but those two are too small like they're too small to fit in the in the standard pillowcases so i retained those pillowcases as well but uh, yeah i love that love seat it's just perfect for that space and it complements the carpet um perfectly that other wall has the curtain and i told you guys i, I was gonna switch the curtains you know what i'm just gonna come closer and show you guys and if you guys can see this is like a really nice shade of blue that for the curtains that ties in well with the living room area these curtains were in my bedroom and i decided to switch them up with the green ones that were here because the green ones fit better in the bedroom and these ones now fit better here given the decor so love it love it and in the center of the sitting area is that coffee table that i got uh, this coffee table was quite affordable and honestly i feel like it suits this space better than the oval one that i decided to give a different job over here to be holding my much heavier plants that can't sit on the plant wall so the reason why i'm not having any plants on the floor here is because luna keeps eating my plants you guys she terrorizes those plant leaves so badly when she's bored i have to like elevate them okay so that just not there at her disposal she can still reach that that plant but she won't mess with it out of boredom she she has to be very intentional about it but my baby girl is growing up so fast that you know nowadays she doesn't do silly things like that on purpose anyway yeah so i switched that this oval table for that rectangular table and i feel like it just ties in well like it fits well in this space i love it i love the color i love the design it's so simple it's so nice yeah all wins all wins guys i love it and this little piece here i got this here in town at some shop i don't remember that it's not weaker you guys like it's it's a weird kind of um material it's not plastic it's not weaker i don't know what it is but it has that weaker vibe and i love it and it's really thick and nice and that's what i'm gonna use for my centerpiece for the coffee table i'm supposed to have like a vase of flowers there but i don't have any right now so that is a no <laughs> but honestly like that sitting area is just amazing 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 guys i cannot complain and then that's the door leading to the hallway and on this wall here i said this is gonna be our gallery wall and i already have some frames ordered but i don't want to put them up when Amon is not here Amon is coming very soon you guys i think the next video is gonna be my video with him like he's coming in eight days now oh that's the big news i was gonna tell you guys later on but oh well i was too itchy to tell you guys anyway he's coming in eight days so i decided i'm gonna wait for him to get here so we can put up our our pictures together that's why none of our pictures together are on the on the wall sorry because i wanted to wait for him and make it a family thing we might even make a video out of it guys and <laughs> include you but yeah that's what that's what i plan for that wall and yeah i think whatever is already on there is looking amazing like those three piece uh wall clock and two mirrors i love them i love them and the gold just ties in well with the theme of the house which is kind of goldish actually and the black framed photo photos are just the black framed photo frames are just lovely i love them i feel like they give the house they give the house or a space where they are in just a different kind of expensive vibe if you may ask me now from that wall we go to that cupboard over there or display cabinet and i haven't really done anything for that area i might do something but i'm not sure yet uh let me know in the comment section what you think i can do to elevate that that space over there i'm not really sure what I can do with it yet but right in front of it is the dining set I did not change that um, 
the rug because I feel like it still ties in with the theme of the house. And I also did not change this. I fixed the dining table because it was wobbly, but I did not change the set because, guys, I went online to look at the prices for dining sets and I bought this for 25000 only to come back to look at the same seller and it has gone up by, I don't know, 20000 Now they're reaching at 45000 or 50000 for a four-seater and I was like, nope, I'm going to fix my dining table and stick with that because they're still in perfect condition and I just love it and I feel like it doesn't look oddly placed because the black and the uh, brown still ties in well with the entire theme of the house again i need a centerpiece for this table here i don't know what it will be but it will be something now guys this wall is the one that changed the most and i'm so happy i don't know if you guys can see but i was very skeptical about this wallpaper when i had it on because i was like oh i i need something that is a bit bolder than this because this is um this is a bit, what do you call it, uh, neutral. It's a bit neutral, but it's okay because now I feel like it ties in so well. It it looks, it blended so well with the whole theme of the house. The camera looks a bit different, uh, but let me get closer so you guys can see the texture. Can you guys see the, the shimmery, shimmery texture on it? Yeah, that reflects so nicely when you're looking at it. Uh, from afar like it reflects so nicely i just love that wall guys that wall has elevated this look this space to a different level and then you add on to that mirror now that mirror is a three by six feet so it's three feet by six feet and hey guys that's me <laughs> yeah uh this mirror um i really wanted a mirror that is big enough for the space and I'm so happy I got it and I got it at an affordable price. So I looked online and everybody was selling these kind of mirrors, the same size for like a lot of money guys, about 14,000, 15,000, 16,000. And then I got this lady on Facebook and she sold this mirror to me at 9,000 and an extra fee for delivery. And I was like, that was so fair. Like I, I saved a lot of money with that, honestly. And it's such a good mirror. I love it, love it. Um, if, if you guys are interested in any of the plugs that I have talked about, just DM me on Instagram and I will send you their numbers or their pages if there is. Yes. So uh, apart from the mirror, aside to the mirror the, on the other side, you guys can see that's the plant. I've had that plant before. I just moved it because I feel like um, it doesn't require as much light or effort really i water this plant once a month guys and i think it does well it's still doing well so i put it there because that place is not well lit but that plant will not die over there i did not change the tv uh unit that just stayed i just made the cables tidier by putting them in that trunking and yeah I put more lighting up there was no bulb in that bulb holder and i put it in there it looks amazing uh this is where the console table is supposed to go i'm gonna leave that space uh, open until the console table is brought home and then finally in that corner i've also had that planned for a while now she needs a lot more love and care now guys it's evening it's like almost like 7 pm i think or 6 50 that's why it's a bit dark so it's almost like it's night time anyway that's why you can see there's not much light coming through but that window is massive one of the things i love about this house is it has such a massive window it's almost wall to wall you guys i love it love it love it anyway so that's why that that plant is over there next opposite uh, the plant wall with all the other plants that need a lot more sunlight and I had this mirror before uh, I bought the big one so I tried to put it in here just to reflect more light into the house hi guys <laughs> and i love it love it love it you guys so i'm gonna give you guys a sweep i think i got everything oh no who how could i forget here over here guys i got these chandeliers from is it pendant light or chandelier you guys let me know what's the difference anyway i got this hanging 
ceiling lights <laughs> from tungsten electricals and electronics i think that's what they're called you can check them out on instagram and these were going for on an offer on valentine's day and i just loved it you guys each went for 4500 shillings and i feel like that was really fair these lights are so beautiful you guys it's just that it's dark right now and you guys can see properly but they're so beautiful they're so beautiful um i love them i love them they are like one of the best uh, decisions I made when it comes to renovating. Like it just elevated the place to a different level. So they're also like gold kind of. They're also a bit golden and that ties in with everything that is in the house and the warm lighting. So I'm going to give you guys a sweep of each and every part of the house and hopefully I can insert the before and after.